We present our work called First Order Motion Model for Image Animation. It extracts and retargets motion from the driving video. The videos presented in this slide are generated by this work. Our method does not require any labels, annotation, or knowledge about the object in the image. It supports a variety of objects and once trained, it applies to arbitrary objects of the same category. For faces, it successfully extracts and retargets facial expressions, head poses, and even eye movements. In order to create an animated video, we start with a source image or an image we want to animate and a driving video or a video that contains the desired motion. This applies to multiple object categories. Here is the retargeting result generated using our method. Prior works approach the problem by using object specific priors. This unfortunately works only for objects for which such priors are available, such as human bodies or faces. This is, however, often not true in reality. Such methods also require a pre-trained landmark detectors are object-specific and impose a very strong prior that transfers appearance along with the motion. Our work supports multiple objects of the same category, does not require a motion model, and learns to transfer motion and motion only, keeping the identity of the source object fixed. Once trained on faces, the method applies to any face. Once trained on human bodies, the model animates any human body. The same works for stickers and robotic arm movements. We start with a source image and a driving video. We split the process into motion extraction and generation. To extract motion, we pass the consecutive frames of the driving video through an unsupervised key point detector to obtain sparse key points for each frame. Additionally, for each key point, we obtain local affine transformations in the neighborhood of this key point. To get motion, we subtract the two outputs. We call this sparse motion since it's based on a sparse set of object key points. To predict dense motion, we use another network which additionally provides the occlusion map. We extract the appearance from the source image by passing it through the encoder. We then warp the features using the dense motion and multiply them by the occlusion map. This way the decoder knows which areas of the image require in painting. During testing, the frames from the driving video are used as both the source and the target. In this manner, the whole framework does not require any labels or landmarks. The model learns a distinct set of key points for each object. The key points have semantic meaning and are spatial and temporally consistent. We show that these key points are sufficient to define complex motions for image animation. We apply our framework for robot animation. The images at the top represent the source images. The videos on the left are the driving videos. The rest is generated by our method. The same framework applies for human motion animation. To motivate further research, we created a new dataset of high-resolution Tai Chi video clips. Again, the videos on the left represent the driving videos and the, the images at the top are the source images. 
The rest is generated by our system. We collected a dataset of pixel art animation, which we call stickers, and trained our model on this set. The generated videos follow the motion patterns of the driving videos. Finally, we apply the technology to faces. Our model successfully retargets motions and animates static images in the top row. The model does not change the identity and generates facial expression as if the source person said that themselves. For more details, please read our paper, visit the project website and the GitHub repository.